In today's times, we ladies are very particular when it comes to beauty and fashion. We follow various beauty practices considering our skin type and body type. Before even trying a new product, we make sure if it is chemical free, organic, vegan and what not. But how was it for the ladies in the ancient times? Beauty and fashion were considered as significant as it is in today's times. In fact, makeup was so important in Roman culture that philosopher Plotus once wrote, a woman without paint is like food without salt. Hmm, that's quite a statement. I bet to defer though. Here I have top 7 strangest beauty practices that was followed during 15th to 18th centuries. The Extravagant Hairdo French were famous for its extravagance. In addition to their luxurious garments and jewelries, the aristocrats also experimented in some hairdos which were gigantic and against the gravity. The pyramid-like wigs were attached to the top of the women's head and were decorated with cushions, ornaments and feathers. They used some kind of powder to color their hair grey cause grey hair was popular back then. They used 20 to 25 large black pins to set such elaborate hairstyles and it could be worn for days or weeks at a time. These hairdos would go as high as one and a half times the height of a person's face. The bigger it is, the more fashionable it was thought to be. They had hairdressers to set up and maintain such extravagant hairstyles. Oxygen versus 16 inches waist. The hourglass shape was so popular in 1800s during the Victorian period. Women feared they might not get married if they do not achieve this so-called perfect figure. The corset was considered a great asset to make women more attractive and curvaceous. When wearing a tightly laced corset that encircled the ribs, it compressed the natural waist. The waist became tiny, which made the women's body look more voluptuous. These corsets were made of whale bones. When I say whale bones, it is not whale bones exactly, but all baleen whales have baleen instead of teeth. So that was used to stiffen the corset. Although these corsets were successful in achieving a perfect waist, it had some serious health repercussions. It was torturous contraption that often caused women to faint and possibly deform their body. Women in the early days often retired to their bedrooms in the middle of the day to remove clothing and lie down for a while. But it didn't stop there. The restrictions on women's lungs caused deadly ailments like pneumonia and tuberculosis. Sweet tooths. During the Queen Elizabeth's time, that is in the 1500s, not much importance was given to dental hygiene. Sugar was a high status ingredient back then. It was more expensive than honey because it had to be imported. Sugar was not an ingredient which everyone had access to. It was mainly eaten by the rich. As a result, the wealthier you were, the more rotten your tooth were likely to be. They also believed that sugar had medicinal properties. So it was not only used in making lavish desserts, but also used to clean teeth. So rubbing sugar paste onto your teeth in the hope of cleaning them only worsened any decay. Queen Elizabeth was said to have loved sugar so much that her teeth were badly decayed and at one stage she had to have a number of badly decayed teeth removed. Since sugar was considered a luxury, some women actually blackened their teeth both to match up to their queen and show off their wealth. The highest high heels. Unlike our high heels or pointed heels, this is the high platformed shoe called the chopine. It had both practical and symbolic function among Venice's women in the 16th century. 
these thick-soled raised shoe was designed not for walking but to protect the feet and dress hems from filthy wet and muddy streets. It could reach a height of 20 inches. The height of the chopines showed their status symbol. Thus, only the aristocrats used them. Wearing such a thing, you can imagine how awkward and wobbly a woman's walk would be. So women who wore them were generally accompanied by an attendant to help her balance, obviously. The tapeworm diet. Women in the 1800s were encouraged to ingest tapeworms to lose weight. The idea is simple and gross. You take a pill containing a tapeworm egg. Once the egg hatches, the parasite grows inside the host. The worm then ingests whatever the host eats. This means the dieter will simultaneously lose weight while eating whatever she wants without worrying about calorie intake. This tapeworm diet was considered the perfect solution, though it had its own side effects like meningitis and epilepsy. Mouse bros. The 1700s were a strange time to be into personal grooming. On one hand, beauty standards were meticulous and precise, while on the other, actual washing and bathing was mostly considered as unnecessary routine. Some even believed it was bad for health. As a result, the class aristocrats' wigs were full of lice and their clothes stank to death. Anyways, coming to the point, the pasty white complexion was considered fashion in those days. They used harmful powders to paint their face white and dark eyebrows were extremely desirable in order to contrast with. A common way of achieving this was to shave off the brows completely and glue strips of mouse pelts in their place. Actually, that was a polite way to put. But the raw truth is, they glued my skin to their faces. This is gross enough. I know, but you should know this too. Ladies those days were not buying a pack of mouse bros in the drugstore. Women would trap and skin the mice themselves. There is an old poem that talks about this ritual as well. On little things, as sages write, depends our human joy or sorrow. If we don't catch a mouse tonight, alas, no eyebrows for tomorrow. Seductive they looked with beetle blood. Would you smear crushed up bugs on your face in the name of beauty? I don't think so. Today it sounds bizarre. But back in the day, Cleopatra and her fellow Egyptians would grind up carmine beetles and ant eggs which made a deep red pigment to create a primitive form of lipstick. So those were my top strangest beauty practices followed in the ancient times. And if you know any such strange practices that your ancestors followed, please leave it in the comment section below. And do not try any of this at home. They are all harmful. Paint your face if it makes you feel good. But always remember, you are beautiful just the way you are.